and welcome to my kitchen. I'm Stacey Shields and I'm going to show you how to make a delicious appetizer today. It's a marinated cheese plate and a lot of people probably haven't seen anything quite like it, but once they try it, they love it. Okay? So the way that it works is we're going to have three kinds of cheese. We're going to have a pepper jack, we're going to have a sharp cheddar, and then of course we're going to have our delicious Philadelphia cream cheese. Okay, I'm going to show you how to cut these. You're going to take your block, cut it in half, and then what we're going to do is cut about every, let's say, quarter inch. Don't have to get out your rulers, ladies, but you want to make it somewhat uniform. So we got the cheddar all cut up. We're gonna do the same thing to the pepper jack. Cut it in half lengthwise, and again, quarter inch slices. Mm, doesn't that look delicious with all those yummy spicy peppers in that? I love spicy. Okay, so now we're gonna cut the cream cheese. This might be a little bit harder just because cream cheese is softer. You wanna make sure that it's super cold when you go to cut it. Also, another tip that I have is maybe keep a little bowl next to where you're cutting, and then if your knife gets a little sticky with the cream cheese, you can just kind of scrape the extra into your bowl and keep cutting, okay? So again, we're just going to cut it in half, just like that, and then start cutting quarter inch slices. Be a little bit harder with this one. And we're gonna put this all together in the bowl so it doesn't have to be exactly perfect. But you wanna try and keep that square shape so that it all looks delicious. Okay, so now all of our cheese is cut and what we're gonna start doing is we're going to arrange it in our dish and we're gonna alternate it, okay? okay? So we'll take a piece of cheddar and then let's say the cream cheese and then pepper jack. Then you're going to keep alternating. Cheddar, cream cheese, pepper jack. What we're going to do with this then is we're going to come over here and we're going to arrange it in this pan. Okay? So we're going to have rows of cheese. And what you want to do is you want to alternate the pattern. You don't want it to be the same thing. You want it to be visually intriguing, right? So you're gonna have instead of cheddar, cream cheese, pepper jack, do, you know, pepper jack, cheddar, cream cheese. So you're just gonna keep it different. Um, there doesn't need to be a set pattern, but um, just make it pretty, okay? I'm sure you can do that. I'm gonna keep working on this. Okay, so I'm putting in my last row, and it only took me about five minutes just to slap all of this together. It's not that hard. Um, so don't worry about it. And it's all gonna be covered with our beautiful topping anyways, so it does not have to be perfect. I'm gonna put in one more set. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make the beautiful topping that's gonna to go on top and that's gonna marinate that cheese and make it even better than cheese already is, if that's possible. I think it is, we'll see. So here's what I'm gonna do. Put my cheese over there, get my cutting board. And now I'm going to tell you about what's going to be in the topping. Okay, so we have a jar of roasted red peppers that I rinsed. I also sometimes do these myself if red peppers are on sale at the grocery store, but they're not right now, so I just use a jar, the kind that comes in a jar. We have half a cup of olive oil, half a cup of white wine vinegar, quarter cup of fresh lime juice, we have three tablespoons of parsley, three tablespoons of cilantro, one teaspoon of sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, and then three green onions, okay? So now that you know what's in it, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna put it all together. I have my bowl ready, and first we can just dump a lot of the stuff in. We can put in the oil, 
and the vinegar. And basically we know oil and vinegar makes just kind of a little vinaigrette, right? Um, the lime juice, sugar, salt, which is stuck in there. Awesome. There we go. Perfect. And then the pepper. Anyway. So now we're going to do kind of a fine chop like this, and then we're going to run back through it and dice it up just a little bit more. Okay, that's probably good. And then we'll just run through it one more time to make sure, again, you don't get any of those big pumps. I think that's pretty good. So, let's take this over, dump it in our bowl. Okay. Now, for the roasted red peppers, what we're going to do is pretty much we're going to julienne them, which means cutting them into fine strips, and then we're going to kind of roughly chop them. We don't want tiny pieces, but we don't want huge pieces either. So just whatever looks and feels right to you. Okay? So we'll do small strips. And then we'll just kind of turn them and do a rough chop. And that black stuff on them, that's um, the charred skin from when they roast them and take the skin off. We'll put that in the bowl as well. And look, it's already beautiful. Again, great colors, really visually interesting, really different, really, really delicious. So the cilantro, and you know, you can even throw them on the board together, chop at the same time. Okay. The way that I like to do it is you bunch it up, makes it a little bit easier than trying to do a whole mess of them all over the place, right? Bunch them up again, kind of push them against. Really be careful of those fingertips though. Okay, so we're gonna put that in as well. Again, just adding even more color. Okay, so what we're gonna do is grab a whisk really quickly. All it takes is just a little stir. So now all we have left to do is pour our delicious topping on top of our cheese. Pretty simple. So now what's gonna happen is that all of those flavors from that topping are gonna seep into that cheese and give it some really good flavor. Um, I would recommend at least 30 minutes in the fridge and then up to a day. Any longer than that, and the acids in the, to in the topping are, might start to eat into the cheese a little bit. Um, but a day in advance is absolutely fine. Just cover it, leave it in the fridge, throw it in the fridge, and it's just gonna be delicious, okay? And I'm gonna show you how we're gonna enjoy it. Ready? This is our marinated cheese plate. Super easy, super simple, super delicious, yummy, okay? So all you have to do, serve it with any kind of cracker of your choice, uh, be sure to use some sort of utensil so that you can get in there and get what you want. Oh, oh, that looks delicious, right? Okay, I want to get a little bit of extra topping too because that's so yummy on top of that. Oh, and I, look, I've gotten the cream cheese and the cheddar. Delicious. Ready? Let's see. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> The flavors are so good. They melt together. Mmm. A little bit tangy. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Nothing better than a nice mouthful of cheese. So delicious. So tangy. I know that you're going to like it just as much as I do. So I'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.